welcome soon so in this video we will be starting with a practical level 1d in the last video we had seen the use of the for each loop with the array and in this video we will try to create a function one for the reverse number and one for finding the sum of the digit now first of all try to understand what even the reverse number the reverse number logic is quite easy if the variable x is having the value as 123 then the reverse will be 321 now for completing this particular process of reversing the number i am using the logic which is taught in the classroom is mod by 10 and divide by 10 so can you explain the logic let's see the simple example i will say uh, complete following or run the following statement or execute following statements till value of number is greater than 0. So this is what my condition is. We have to execute the following statement. The value of number is what greater than 10. And I am assuming the user had entered the value inside the number as what we can say 123. So which statement I need to execute. I am just specifying the statement like the reminder equal to what number mod 10. Further, I am just having a variable that is called a reverse, which is having the default value as reverse as 0. So, I will write reverse equal to reverse into 10 plus the reminder. And then I am going to specify as number equal to number divided by 10. So, these three statements need to be executed till the time the value of number is above 0. Let's do a dry run for understanding this thing. So here I am creating the variable list saying number, then reminder, then reverse. So three variables are considered by me as number, reminder and reverse. The value of number is 123. And now I need to execute the value of reverse is also uh, currently as 0, reminder is also 0 and reverse is also been 0. Initial value of reminder reverse is what 0. And now I need to execute all these three statements till the time the value of number is above 0. Let's try to do it. So reminder equal to number mod 10. Mod does what? Finding the reminder. Right. So number is 123. 123 divided by 10 is 12.3. So reminder becomes 3. So reminder becomes 3. Then the next statement comes as reverse equal to reverse into 10 plus reminder. Current value of reverse is 0. So, 0 into 10 is what? Again, 0 plus reminder 3. So, the reverse value will be also what? 3. And the next statement comes as number equal to number divided by 10. So, when I say number equal to number divided by 10, it is 123 divided by 10. You know it is 12.3. But at an integer, the value of number will become what here? 12. Moving ahead, I will again check whether my condition is satisfied or not. My condition is what? My condition is number must be above 0. And yes, my number is 12, which is above 0. So again, I will execute all these statements. What I need to execute? Again, reminder equal to number mod 10. So value of number is now as 12. So 12 mod 10, the reminder becomes 2. Reverse equal to reverse into 10 plus reminder. The value of reverse is right now 3. 3 into 10 is 30. 30 plus 2 is 32. So the reverse becomes 32. And number equal to number divided by 12. Number value is 12. So divided by 10 is 1.2. And integer part is 1. So the value of number will be what? 1. So fine. Again I will check whether my value of number is above 0. The answer says yes. The value of number is what? 1. It is above 0. So again I will execute these three statements. What is the statement? Reminder equal to number mod 10. The value of number is 1. 1 divided by 10. It is 0 0.1. Reminder becomes what here? 1 only. Then reverse equal to reverse into 10 plus reminder. Reverse is what? 32. 32 into 10 is what? 320. 320 plus 1 is what? 321. And then again I will say number equal to number divided by 10. So 1 divided by 10. It is 0 0.1. And the integer part of it, it becomes what here? 0. So now the value of number is what? 0. Again, I will check whether my value of number is above 0. The answer says no. That means right now I am getting the value of reverse as what year 321 for the given number as what year 123. So now you understood the logic of reverse. 
Now, this logic of reverse need to be implemented in our function. So, let's try to complete the program by adding one more function for this program. So, here I am interested in creating one more function which will be returning me the integer value of reverse. So, I am just creating public integer reverse number in the bracket. I am providing end n. And then just implemented the same logic which is being understood by us right now by saying int reverse comma reminder equal to 0. So, all the values reverse is also and reminder is also going to be 0. Once the reverse and uh, reminder is being uh, specified as 0, I am implementing the while loop by saying while number that is n is greater than what 0. And then writing the same logic that is going to be reminder equal to n mod 10 further specifying reverse equal to reverse into 10 plus reminder and then specifying n equal to n divided by 10. And whatever the value is going to be there that I am going to return by saying return REV that reverse. So, my calculations is been completed and now I am interested in implementing the switch case. So, here it comes I am implementing the switch case by specifying case 5. So, if the user provided the uh, choice as 5, then first accept the value from the user. So, here I am specifying a message by saying console.write, displaying the message as enter number. The value I am accepting instead of variable called a number by saying int number or maybe int text equal to int dot parse in the bracket console.read line. So, value has been accepted. Now, this value need to be passed towards the function and whatever the function returns to me that I would like to store somewhere. So, I just say int ans equal to p1 dot reverse number in the bracket x. So, answer will be what holding the output which has been passed by the function called as what a reverse number. Okay, it shows me the error over here. Let's try to find out the error. It says cannot implicitly convert uh, type uh, int to bool. I need to check what is my reverse type will be there. Ah, but the issue is what this reverse number written in the integer value but my answer is the boolean one. So, I, I just try to uh, add one new variable like y and here I display the message by saying console dot write line reverse number is plus and providing the variable called as y. My program has been completed successfully. I just introduced the break for the switch case. And now I run the program and let's check really it implements and gives a reverse number or not. So I am providing the choice as 5. The number entered by me is 458. And you are getting the reverse number of it is as what here 854. This program will work very nicely, but some of the person will be saying, My number is 120. Please remember that reverse of 120 is 21. Huh? वो 0 21 नहीं आएगा 0 बीच में रहेगा तो प्रॉब्लम कुछ नहीं 0 एंड में रहेगा देन दैट विल बी डेफिनेटली क्रिएटिंग अ ट्रबल यू विल नॉट बी गेटिंग द आंसर एज 0 टू 1 यू विल बी गेटिंग द आंसर एज व्हाट हियर 2 1 तो प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट दिस इज अ स्मॉल फ्लॉ इन दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोग्राम इफ यू वांट 0 टू 1 देन यू हैव टू गो फॉर इंप्लीमेंटिंग द स्ट्रिंग फंक्शंस फॉर रिवर्सिंग द स्ट्रिंग इंस्टेड ऑफ डूइंग व्हाट वी कैन से द न्यूमेरिकल रिवर्स बट इन दिस प्रोग्राम इट हैज बीन एक्सपेक्टेड दैट यू विल बी इंप्लीमेंटिंग द रिवर्स नंबर फंक्शनलिटी that is mod by 10 and what we have divided by 10 which has been understood by us right now logically also as well as what we can say programmatically also. So class uh, in the next video we will try to learn how to find the sum of the digits. Thanks a lot.